All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing some fiddlesticks in the mid lane, or if you want to call it middle sticks. We've got Harvest, Cheap Shot, Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter, Mana Flow Band, and Transcendence. We're going to do a double harvest build with the Dark Harvest and a Night Harvester as our mythic. It gives a ton of burst as soon as you ult into their whole team because the Night Harvest hits everybody. And then when they get half health from your ult, then the Harvest pops off too. So I'm thinking of going uh, Night Harvester into... Not sure what secondary item. Usually Hourglass is really good on Fiddle for when you ult in. They do have a lot of damage on their team. Looks like we're against a Misfortune mid. I did take uh, Armor Runes because I saw their team was pretty heavy AD. I couldn't tell if it was a Zareth mid or not. So that's good. It's not Zareth. Okay, so we start E on this and we're going to be maxing E. It's like his poke. It's a way to farm too. Give her a little slice. There we go. But yeah, he's he's pretty darn bad at farming early. You're pretty much just playing for the team. Oh my god. You're playing for the team fights. You're also just playing for level 6. He's pretty weak until then. I think I can walk up and just drain here. There we go. I'm not going to be maxing the W though, so it's not going to be that useful. Oh my god. I can't get any of these minions. Yeah, his auto attacks are really bad, as you can see. Okay, she's pretty aggressive. Oh my god. Got a lot of auto attacks off there. She doesn't have ignite though. Oh, I just barely can't reach her. At level six, she's such a free kill though, because we just go in the bush and alt. I'm gonna do. Actually, I'll get my Q since Warwick's ganking. Oh, he is fast. Try and heal off this. Oh man. Well, I got two of them. Down four. That bush has to be warded, because she, she knows. There's a little hit. Okay, that was actually a good trade. We just need to not get hit by her Q bounce. Oh, she has no mana. Nice. Okay, we needed that because uh, we missed like a kill's worth of farm already. <laughs> okay, we're up one farm. Uh, actually not, she TP'd back, but that was probably the best it could have gone. We can get a alternator here. Alternator and a potion, I guess. And then we'll be level 6 after like two waves. So then we can alter and kill her again. It might be tricky without ignite, but she doesn't have a dash. So it's really hard for her to get away from my ult. Also, we can roam bot lane. Their bot lane doesn't have any dashes either. So we're extremely strong versus these three. Zin and Aatrox... We'll be able to tank our damage and probably not die, but we can delete the backline instantly if we get fed. Alright, we got through the rough part. I think MF's damage isn't going to be too bad anymore since we killed her. It is, like, impossible to farm as this champ, though, in mid. That's why he's played in the jungle only. It's a little bit easier if you max W, but... I can't really hit Misfortune with the W. I can hit her with the E. I got ult. We want to poke her down first, though. The E starts to hurt once we get more points in it. Alright, give me this cannon, Riot Games. Thank you. 
Keep slicing her. Quick push it. Oh, she might ult me here. I gotta be careful. Because if she gets me to like half health, she'll ult me and I have no way to get out of it. Guess I'll use a potion. There we go. Alternator popped. She's running out of mana. She does have a tier though. I'm just gonna ult. Yep, she didn't expect that. Look at that damage. She had no way to get out of that. Literally, like, this champion is just, if you don't have ult, you're pretty useless. You gotta make your ults count. You gotta uh, clear vision over walls and then just surprise people. Or just go in because you know they don't have a dash there. She didn't even start running when I ulted. I don't even think she knew that was my ult. Probably thought I was using W. Uh, I don't think we can go for plating. Ooh. I don't know if I can get anything down here, though, without all. I don't think so. Huh? We will grab some boots, a blasting wand. Ult's back up in 60 seconds. I don't think she'll fall for the straight-up ult again. Well, she's killing us in farm. We're down like a kill in farm. We get dragon though. No. I'll start putting points in W next. Just so we can clear, because this MF's just pushing all game. What have they done to you, Fiddlesticks? You cannot clear minions. Old Fiddlesticks was so fun. You just throw the crow as a Z and it just bounced. It, it cleared the whole wave of minions and it poked the enemies down. And I liked, I liked when the drain hit one target and did a lot of damage instead of it hitting a bunch of targets dealing like zero damage. He has all... I don't think... Yeah, I wasn't going to ult there because I, I felt like she was going to flash, and she did. I just want to eat her for the harvest, but it might make her base. Okay, max rank E. Where's their jungle? Gotta be careful. He has a knockup too, so I can't even ult if he ganks. That doesn't really do much damage to me. Is she maxing E? I feel like that Q should have hit me more. Oh, Zin's bot. I know tank fiddlesticks worked with the rework for a bit of time, but I think they nerfed it too much. Uh, this guy's bot. It might just be able to kill him. It's two bruisers bot. Oh, Twitch was there. Alright, nice. We got another plating, though. I'm catching up in farm, too. She's not really doing any damage to us. Come on, give me the cannon. Oh my god, I didn't get it. I'm angry. Slice. Oh my god. Howdy. Well, I got one with me. I thought I'd deal more damage, but I don't have items yet. I maybe should have feared Zen instead of MF, but I think I was just dead there. It didn't really do much damage to them, but now we got a Night Harvester. And Zareth got the shutdown. That's pretty good because we can we can kill him with one alt.
How's top lane doing? Pretty even. I have a full team of front line though, so like, I can get such easy ults off because they're not gonna go for me. Uh, he just ulted right out of that MF ult. Looks like Darius gets two here. Nice. I've got some health now too. Hourglass will allow me to alt in and then just uh, not take any damage, so I might go for that because the Zin and the Aatrox are gonna go for me as soon as I alt in. I'm almost level 11, like a little less than halfway, so I should probably wait on my alt. Because if I use it when I'm level 11, it'll be a lower cooldown and it'll be stronger. If I use it beforehand, I might just have to wait a while. There we go, there's the Night Harvester poke. See, this gets to like a low cooldown and you can just spam it. I'm a plating. Thank you. Who's that ring? Oh, this is Aerithal. Is he fighting somebody? Oh. Oh. Ah, well. <laughs> That almost worked. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I gotta do something here. I got ignited, but I think he's dead. I'm dead too, though. Oh. A poison. I'll take it, though. I got the 420 score. The 90 CS. Look at that. Where should I go? I know Horizon would be pretty good, too, for damage. Because I think it pops on his ult if you use it far enough. And then his ult also fears people. Because you're invisible. But I think I'll just grab that hourglass first. Ooh, I need sort shoes too. I'm gonna grab sort shoes first. Some armor. Because their team's full AD. Besides Zareth. Yeah, my level 11 ult is going to be really big and do a lot of damage. Ooh, blue buff. How much damage increases it? Oh, it's almost double damage. Oh, it did a lot at the end. Oh, 17% missing health at the end. All right, not bad. Ruined my score, though. I canceled it. Oh, no. I don't even... Actually, I can all... Hey, Trax doing no damage to me. What am I getting hit by? Okay. Well, I actually wasn't even trying to go for Aatrox there, and I killed him accidentally with my ult. Something was, like, shooting at me. I don't know what that was. Was it a Zarathul? Heal me, minions. I don't even heal that much. Maybe one day I'll try like a Riftmaker fiddle build. Riftmaker tanky fiddle build where you just max W and try and heal, but there's so much CC in the game, like, it'll just keep getting cancelled. Oh, we got another dragon. That's good. Infertile soul will make my ult be very strong. The set and Darius do a lot of damage. They just have really small health bars. They're like fake tanky. They're not even fake tanky. They're just squishy. I think they got her. Oh yeah, she's dead.
And Fiddle, we just got to lane. We're full health. Why are you wheezing? Alright, if he's here, I think Twitch is around. What's nice is you get wards and a sweeper in one. I don't have a clone thing for the bush. He's Leandre's. I think Zen will be down here, or MF too. Maybe I'll just wait. Yeah, he is here. He's waiting in a bush. Like, they have to know I'm still down here, but... Oh, this is a nice three-man all. Look at that. Wait, come back. No! Why is she so fast? Her stupid W. Can't believe I only got one there. Oh, we got two people at least. Uh... I tried to get out of turret quick. I canceled my W. Was not fast enough, though. Yeah, look at Hourglass. It'll save us in situations like that. And then I might just go to Deathcap next. Just more damage. Yeah, I'll save up for Deathcap. If I buy a seal here, then we have to sell the Dorans for a large rod. I'll just keep these two inventory slots for the death cap. Well, their front line's the weak ones, so I will be able to assassinate Twitch and Zareth and MF every fight. I hate his W. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad on minions. I'm sure it works fine on jungle camps. It just fucking sucks on minions. Uh, I was about to ult over the wall. But he didn't stay in the bush, so that's good. I am gonna go grab blue. My team be fighting. Oh, that Zareth did a lot of damage, so. Wait, what just flew across the screen over there? What was that? Uh, oh. I think I'm dead. What the f- Wait, what was that? Did I just have like a giant- <laughs> It was my E in the middle of it. Oh, she flashed it. Uh... No, come back here. Oh. She's too quick for me. I swear she max like her W and just runs. She played that smart though. She kept baiting me into ear and she was just like right out of range. But I was dead anyway. I don't think I can outrun that Aatrox. Actually, he doesn't even have boots. I could have outrun him. Wow. I could have just ran away from that dude. Who doesn't buy boots at- He doesn't even have the brown boot at 20 minutes in. Wow, he lives. <laughs> An enemy has been slain. 
Alright, we got a turret. We have a herald top that they don't know of. Oh. Oh, he walked into it. Oh, no. Don't you die, too. We gotta get this dragon. I can get another ult off, though. It's already up. Oh, you're dead. Oh, there we go. That was a satisfying one. Oh, this guy has heal. I fear him. Come here. Just a little closer. Silence. Goodbye. Oh, that heal. Do you have healing reduction? He doesn't have healing reduction. He did finally buy a boot, though. Where's Zen? Is he gonna steal this? Oh, he's close. Okay, we almost have a death cap. The thing is, like, these champs, they're only gonna get easier to kill because they don't build defensive items. And then I'm just getting stronger and stronger. So once I get death cap, I'll just one shot some. What am I looking for? Let me get the chickens. What do I need? Like 200 gold? It's so weird how the clones flash. It always scares me. Or like, I don't know. Because like it's the only fake flash in the game. And, like, it does a different thing every time you see the clone, so it's not like you always know it's going to flash, too. Uh, this... I don't have a vision for this, so this is a bad spot to stand. I don't want to fight yet. I want my item. This is about to be a team fight. Yeah, death cap will really make us win this fight if I can get an ult off. All right, 470 AP our ult does 2,200 damage over five seconds. I'm gonna go look for a cool spot to stand. I'm assuming this is warded. This has to be warded. Yeah. Well, I found an Aatrox. Oh, huh. he lives. I was gonna ignite him. Oh, I got a really big E off there. It hit three people. I did it again! <laughs> Look at how big that thing looks. It's so weird. Yeah, Hourglass came in clutch. That was a bad ult. I only hit one person, but it actually melted that Aatrox. He has no MR. And the thing is, like, I can... I can go for the ult again when they all spawn. Because it's up in 10 seconds. make sure there's no vision right here. Let's put a fake one. I want to hit either Xerath, Twitch, or MF. Oh. I've been spotted. I think, oh. Well, there's a pink here. I don't think that pink saw me. I think it's just when I put the thing over the wall. Is a little bit obvious. We can go Void Staff next, or we can go Horizon. They really don't have a single piece of MR. So I might try the Horizon. I 
can't tell if they were going to engage or not. 5.53. Oh, my team's fighting. They might still win. Although, the enemy team has a lot of area effect alts. Yeah. Well, at least they got Twitch. I can maybe save Kench. Ah, oh, this is their fault. Now, I need to wait at Baron. Let's see. There's one. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, we found him. You want to fight too? You want some? I deal so much damage to them. Oh, this is soul too. They weren't going to go for a baron. They were going to go for the, the dragon so we don't get infernal soul. Um. Oh, they're not on it. I'll pull it out. Oh, somebody's over here. Why is it going that way? Wait, that's weird. Does that mean somebody was behind the pit right here because they were closer to it than me? Oh, that guy didn't even get to move. Wow. This actually does a lot of damage. 38% current health magic damage? What? I didn't know it did that much. Scale. It actually has a lot of built-in health damage. I didn't need that red, but take it. Let me buy Horizon. I don't have Flash up, but I have Hourglass. Ooh, he caught Twitch. Oh my god, he got melted. The thing is, until they know, like, where I'm at or if I've ulted already, like, they can't really run out, because I know every time I'm playing against the Fiddle Six, I'm like, where the hell is he? He's waiting over a wall to ult us in a team fight. Oh, everybody just died. Yeah, I gotta go to Baron, maybe. I don't think they're gonna go for it, though. It's just 3k damage now. And then Infernal Soul just keeps popping. I think Zin can maybe 1v1 me. I don't know. He only has two kills, but he's a little beefy. And they're in base. Yeah, the drain does so much damage when you have items. It's so lacking early game, though. Especially if you don't max it. Uh, they're bot lane. He might survive. No. Well, they're not coming out of base, so we might just have to take Baron. Okay, they've come out of base. Wow. I'm going in here. Oh, I'm going in. Oh, I just barely couldn't get Zerath. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually deal so much damage. Um, I don't know if I can save him from Zerath because there's literally no minions. Oh. oh, he died to the burn. If I hit Zareth with just one E, though, he's dead. I just can't get close enough to him. He's gonna check this bush. Yeah, we just Baron because we can't really siege that well against them. We don't have that much range. We have, like, no range. 
So, we need Baron to open up the base because they're turtling. Well, the horizon works. I mean, it on my Q, my E, my Alt, I think. Just the W it doesn't work with. But if I'm using the W, I've probably already hit the other abilities. Oh, this might be free. I think I only see two of them, though. Oh, we could just do this. Because their wave clear is still alive. That's a Baron. I think I have Void Staff soon. 200 gold. Twitch is going to walk right by this. Oh no. I think I'm going to die to the burn anyway. I have to hourglass now. Oh my god, I actually lived that. Okay, is this going to kill me is the question. I actually played that really well. If I hourglassed earlier, he would have held his ult and shot me as soon as I pop out. But I had to use it because I was dying to the Leandri's burn. <laughs> we could just play wait in bushes all game. They can't walk into the jungle. Oh, you're clearing that one? Goodbye. <laughs> Look, here's another one. Let's back up in 30. See, even that one just scared to it. Oh no, walk by me, please. Oh, that fear was actually clutch. I think that would get him off me so easy. Okay, now we have Elder Dragon, so I have, like, the strongest ability in the game right now. Elder Dragon with my ult. Anybody who's even in the circle is just going to get deleted. I just wish I could put a ward over this wall. I don't care. I'm going in. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh my god. <laughs> they got instant nuked. Oh, the Darius Gale Force. Oh shoot. Oh, I'm so dead. Alright. Witch is an up, so I can't get killed by Invis. 10 seconds on all. Hourglass is up. Zareth is 100% gonna snipe me. Oh my gosh. I can kill Aatrox. Let me see. Heal. I'll wait for Twitch and Zin, I think. Uh, I couldn't touch Twitch with my ult. But it worked. Alright, not bad. I mean, we were so insanely strong late game. It's just, you saw our early game. Like, I couldn't do anything. And I'm pretty good with a lot of champs. And it was just, this early game is just atrocious. So if, if you're in an easy matchup, you think you can survive the early game and they have a lot of squishies, this is a really good pick. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. 
Also, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. Let me know what builder champ you want to see next. What should I give it to? Everybody played well. Okay, cool. Let's see the damage. We did 53k damage. How much did we heal? I don't think we healed that much. Yeah. 9k healing on a fiddlesticks is actually pretty low. Harvest did 4k. I should have checked how much the Night Harvester did. Cheap Shot did 900. Other than that, I will see you guys on the Zwag Zareth channel in a few hours after this is uploaded. See you there.